Hi there, welcome to the Microsoft Intune for Education Deployment Workshop. My name is Paolo Matarazzo. I'm a program manager in the Intune for Education product group. This is module 5, Managing Applications. This module consists of two sessions. In the first session, we will look at how to manage applications in Intune for Education. In the second session, we will introduce a Win32 apps and describe how to create and manage them from Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. So let's start with an overview of app management. Intune for Education supports three types of applications. We have web apps, store apps, and Windows desktop apps. With the web apps, we refer to shortcuts to web URLs. These can be published either to Windows devices or to iPads. When we publish a web app to a Windows device, we create a shortcut to the start menu. While on an iPad, we create a new entry in the home screen with a specific icon that we can upload during the creation of the app itself. Regarding store apps, we support both Microsoft Store for Education apps and Apple App Store applications. Apple App Store apps can either be added as free apps or as volume purchase program apps, sometimes referred as VPP apps. Volume purchase program allows institutions to purchase apps and eBooks in bulk and managing and monitoring their licenses from a central location. And this avoids students and teachers and the end users to be prompted to sign in to the Apple Store app with an Apple ID. This provides really the optimal experience for the end users, and for that reason, it is suggested to use VPP wherever possible. Regarding Windows desktop apps, we have three different scenarios. First, there are the traditional line of business applications, or LOB. Those are essentially MSIs, but it's a more traditional type of application that we're not suggesting any longer as we are moving to Win32 applications. Now, we will discuss Win32 applications in the second part of this module, but remember that from Intune for Education, we can view and assign Win32 applications, but we cannot create them. Lastly, we have an integrated experience to deploy our first-party Microsoft applications. So for that, we have the integration with Microsoft 365 apps, also known as Office 365 Pro Plus, and the latest version of Edge. Similarly, as we saw in Module 4 with settings, applications can be deployed by assigning them to security groups. If you target a security group containing users, the apps will be installed on any managed device that the user signs into. Likewise, if you target security groups containing devices, the apps will be installed on those devices and available to any user signing in. One important aspect that I'd like to emphasize is that Microsoft Intune allows applications to be deployed in two ways. There are optional and mandatory applications. So mandatory applications are those applications that are automatically installed with any end user intervention, while optional applications are published to the end users in which case you must target user groups only. So for those applications that are published to be installed, the end users have to use an application that is called the company portal. These applications allow the end users to do self-servicing. So the company portal becomes like a catalog from which the end users can pick and choose which applications to install on that device. Critical applications are usually installed as mandatory while others may be published to the end users. Since in education we want to prioritize the ease of use of devices, avoiding any extra step for students or for the teachers, Intune for Education takes the approach of deploying all the applications as mandatory. In the scenarios where you need to publish certain applications as optional, we can always do so from Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center, as we will discuss in the second part of this module. Intune for Education offers uh, three ways to manage applications. The first one is uh, Express Configuration. 
You saw that experience in uh, module three and uh, express configuration essentially consists of uh, a wizard where we select uh, the security group first that we want to manage. Then we are prompted uh, with the list of settings and applications that we want to deploy to that specific group. Another way to manage applications from Intune for Education is by looking at the groups view, which is very similar to what we covered during module four when we were managing settings. You can select the security group and view and edit all the applications that are assigned to that specific group. The last option is to use the apps view. From apps, we can view and modify the assignments of existing applications, or we can define new applications. So let's now start our first demo about managing apps from Intune for Education. We will deploy web apps, store apps, and also we will use the integrated experience with the Microsoft 365 apps and Edge. For store apps, we will procure them from both the Microsoft Store for Education and from the Apple School Manager as VPP apps. Then we will assign them to our devices. And to demonstrate that the applications get deployed, I went ahead and already enrolled an iPad and a Windows device, but we will cover in great detail enrollment in the next module, module six. So this is just a sneak peek of what to expect in terms of app delivery once the devices are managed by Intune. Now that we are in the Intune for Education console, let's start from Express Configuration. This is one of the three methodology that you can use to assign applications. Again, this is about uh, choosing a group. And uh, in the second step, you will choose an app to install. Since we already covered this uh, methodology, let's move to the other three methods. The next one, if we select groups, let's assume that we want to deploy an application to the all devices group. And here we can select web apps, Windows apps, and iOS apps. If we select web apps, we will see a list of applications assigned to this group. We don't have any right now, but if we select edit apps, then we could select any web links that are already present in this specific tenant. For example, if I want to deploy a link to Excel online or OneNote online, I can select them and select save. Likewise, if I select the Windows apps, I can select edit apps. And uh, these are uh, the Windows applications that I've again created in this specific tenant. Same with iOS apps. I don't have any applications defined in this tenant, so I would have to import them first. The next method is by looking at the apps view. If we select apps, here we have a list of all the applications that are defined in this uh, Intune tenant. I can select load more and the full list will be loaded. I have the possibility to filter applications. And if I wanted to assign a specific application, I could select, for example, Excel. Under group assignment, I can see all the groups that are already assigned to this app. Then I can select add groups. And here I can select multiple security groups and uh, this application will be deployed to all the targeted groups. I can also remove specific security groups. Once I'm happy with my selection, I can select save group assignments. Now, from uh, the apps view, we also have the possibility to define new applications. If we select the new app button, we have uh, four options here. We can create a new web app. We can create a new Microsoft Store app. And with that, it would open a new tab uh, to the educationstore.microsoft.com site. We can create a desktop app. Again, this is an MSI app. Lastly, we can select new iOS app. Let's start with the new web app. Here we specify the URL. We can specify the display name that will show up as a link on our devices. Lastly, I can specify an icon. I can select save. 
And from here, I can select group assignments. And let's assign this application to all devices and save. Let's go back to apps. And let's uh, select a new app. At this point, I'm going to select a new Microsoft Store app. From the Store for Education, I can select Search the Store, and I can search for any applications that I need to distribute to my devices. For example, let's deploy Minecraft Education Edition. As you can see, I already have a Minecraft Education Edition assigned in my tenant. In the store, we can select it. And what I want to call out here is uh, that uh, the application that we have in our tenant has a, a license type of online. What I want to do, I want to obtain a Minecraft Education Edition uh, with a license type of offline. Reason being is uh, if I want to target these store applications to device groups, I need to obtain a license type of offline. You may ask, why do you want to uh, deploy offline applications to your devices? On shared devices, offline applications have uh, the benefit that uh, as soon as a new user signs in to the device, that application will be available from the moment they sign in, instead of waiting for the application to be linked to the new profile. So I'm going to select Get the App and select Close. I'm going to do the same for Company Portal because I want to allow my students to do self-servicing of any application that I need to publish to them. Again, I'm going to choose uh, the offline license and select Get the App. Now let's head back to Intune for Education. Let's now refresh uh, the list of applications. And uh, as you can see, uh, Company Portal is available in here and it shows as assigned no. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the approach of assigning applications looking at the groups view. So I'm gonna select groups. Let's select uh, the all devices group. Here, I'm going to select again Windows Apps, Edit. And if we expand the Microsoft Store Apps, I now have two additional applications. I have the Company Portal, and as you can see, we have an indication that this application is available with the offline licensing. Likewise, we have a Minecraft Education Edition, which is offline licensed. We also have uh, the online version, the online license version of Minecraft Education Edition, uh, but we want again to target the device groups, making sure that these applications are available to all the users using these shared devices. I select Save. And now these two applications will be pushed to my devices. Let's head back again to Apps. And I want to call out a couple of things. If we select new app, we have the possibility to select new desktop app. As I mentioned before, this allows us to create a, an LOB application and we support only MSI installers. As I mentioned during the presentation, this is not the preferred method to deploy LOB applications. So I'm not gonna use this methodology. We're gonna use a Win32 applications in the later demo. The last option here, is a new iOS app. If we select this option, be aware that we're going to deploy free applications from the App Store. We also have a banner here indicating that an Apple ID must be used if you deploy these applications. In other words, if you deploy an application from here, let's say, for example, that we want to deploy Intune Company Portal. If we do so and we deploy it to our devices, then our end users will be required to sign in. So we call out that add this app in the Apple School Manager recommended. So let's use that methodology. Here I am under Apps and Books, and I'm already redirected to Intune Company Portal. I'm going to specify quantity, 
and select get. I'm gonna do the same for Minecraft, the same for Microsoft Edge, and lastly, I'm gonna do Teams. Great, now that uh, the applications have been obtained, let's uh, head over back to Intune for Education. And from here, I'm going to assign three of uh, the four VPP apps uh, to the All Devices group. So I'll select the iOS apps, Edit apps. I'm not going to assign Intune Company Portal because uh, I'm deploying userless devices and Intune Company Portal doesn't support iPad userless devices. So just the Edge, Teams, and Minecraft Education Edition. Since we're here, I'm going also to deploy uh, Office or Microsoft 365 Enterprise Apps and uh, the latest version of Edge. One thing is worth calling out is that uh, in case you deselect applications in Intune for Education, then Intune for Education will trigger an uninstall of the apps. You may expect that the applications are stopped to being deployed to the devices, but Intune for Education, again, one more time, will issue an uninstall of the apps in case you deselect them. So to recap, I, we have one web app, we have four Windows apps, and we have three iOS VPP apps. Let's now look at our devices, making sure that these devices receive the published applications. We are on the iPad and uh, we can see that uh, Teams uh, and Edge are getting installed. And uh, they're then followed by Minecraft Education Edition and uh, Wikipedia as a web link. We open Minecraft Education Edition and uh, we authenticate with Allison. And Allison can start using the device. Let's do the same on a Windows device. We sign in with the Allison. I'm gonna keep the start menu open and the company portal is already installed. And Minecraft as well. Minecraft uh, support a single sign-on with Windows, so Allison doesn't have to authenticate and she can start using Minecraft. This concludes uh, our first demo and uh, the first part of module 5. In the second part, we will look at how to manage Win32 applications.